want to, sorry, got it just set. <laughs> I just want to film a favorites video because I haven't done one in a really long time. And I've been trying to post things on my blog. Um, I cannot, I got a new phone and I cannot figure out how to post pictures from my phone onto my computer. So I'm trying to figure it out. All I have is Instagram right now, and my name is Pink Sparkles 30 with a Z, not an S. Um, so you can find me on there. I always post pictures, but I've been trying to figure out how to do post pictures on my blog from my phone. So that's why I haven't posted in a really long time on my blog. But I did do a swap. I did my last video. Um, I showed everything um, that I got from Slovenia from Sarah. So I have a couple of those things in my favorites. But I'm going to start with a couple of random things that I've been loving. These are just current favorites. This is not for the month. I've been loving these things for, well, some of them are just for this month. Like things from Slovenia, I've had for a month. So. They're from this month, but other things I've been loving for a lot longer. This is, I recently got this, uh, probably a couple months ago. It's Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Uh, it's a toner, it's 100% natural, um, oil free, non drying for all skin types. Gently cleanses and conditions pores to maintain clear, smooth, and balanced skin. So, I try to put this on, I dab it with the cotton pad, I try to do it every time I wash my face. Sometimes I forget in the morning when I get out of the shower, because I wash my face in the shower most of the time, in the morning, but at night I do, I do this every night, after I wash my face with my tea tree oil cleanser I use that and it helps a lot with the oil and then a really s kind of strange favorite for me this month is Johnson's baby oil you would think what the heck what you want that for I do have babies so this is um their this is kind of old because my babies are bigger now. They're not baby babies. I have a toddler, but um, I've been using this for my legs. Like when I get out of the shower, right after you shave um, or take a bath and put these on your legs, it moisturizes, moisturizes very, very well. I do not, I do not like the smell of baby oil. I hate that baby powder smell, but I really love the, like, shine it gives to my legs. It's not greasy at all. It's just an oil. <laughs> so, that's a random favorite. Uh, I've also been loving my Escada perfume, which I barely have any at the bottom. I need to find an, either another one of these. I'm not sure if they still sell these, but they did come out with a new one. I can't remember the name of it. It's like a blue bottle. I want the new one really bad because it smells so good. I love my Escada perfume, especially in the summertime. Oh my goodness. I think this is called Rockin' Rio, this one. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Let's see what it says on the bottom. It says only the second. No, it doesn't say what it is, but as you can tell, I was loving that a lot. And my um, Skin 79 Dream Girl BB Cream. Um, I love this because it's so easy just to s grab a little bit and rub it in your palms and just slather it all everywhere and run out the door. And it doesn't need a lot of maintenance. It's really good for oil. Um, I don't like heavy foundation. So, um, I really love this one, and I 
Oh my goodness, it's amazing. If you mix this with moisturizer, my, I can't reach it for you. I use it with my L'Oreal, what's it called? Active Daily Moisturizer, that's what it's called. And it's amazing. Okay. I have a lot here. A lot of lippies and a lot of blushes. Mostly. But I have a lot to cover, so I better hurry. <laughs> um, two mineralized skin finish, MAC. Uh, Stereo Rose is a gorgeous one that I've been loving. And uh, Oldie But Goodie. MAC MSF. I just said that. Okay, I don't need to say that now. Light Year. It's a limited edition one from, I want to say, two summers ago. It's really, really pretty. It has a. Uh, this light pink, which I, there's a dent, really big dent right there because I like to use, I just rub it like this. It's a really pale pink, and I just pull like that and rub it with my finger, my cheekbones, and now I know it's really fast just to do that. Or you can use it as a blush. So you get your brush and just swirl it all around. And it's a really pretty pinky color. It has that gold veining, so it's really, really nice. And I love that. Especially in the summertime. Because it has like this peachy pink color with the gold shimmer. And then, speaking of peachy pinks, blushes. I've been loving my Tarte Peaceful. And really really pretty peachy pink with the shimmer um, this one right here let's see let's see my angle if you can get that so watch it for you there it is there and this is my chair just creaking hold on let me get closer and oh my goodness this one Al Verde blush in apricot that I got in my swap from Slovenia with Sarah thank you so much I love this blush oh my god it's like the perfect color for me it's like hmm, it's like exposed Sort of, but it's more apricotty, like peachy. That's it. This one. Right there. It's a bad angle, but it's really nice. I have a little bit on right now. It's really late in the day. It's like 10 o'clock at night, actually, so. I might not look so hot right now. Just chilling in my pajamas and a ponytail, so don't mind me. And uh, another Al Verde, this powder in Naturel. And it's, it's very, very nice. It's very finely milled, velvety texture. And it's It's a little bit light for me, but if I just put a little bit and blend it out, it's fine. So you can't even tell. You can't even see it on my skin. And um, sometimes I'll put a foundation that's too dark. Like this BB cream is a little bit, tiny, tiny bit dark. So it looks good underneath that powder. And then my last blush, my one and only NARS blush that I have that I got for my birthday last year Outlaw and it's gorgeous it's a beautiful like I would say it's uh I would describe it as like a raspberry it's 
like a darker pink. It's not berry, berry, like, like, um, what can I compare it to? You know, like the Red Walnut Butter Berry Smoothie? It's not that berry. It's just like a darker pinky raspberry color. I'll swatch it for you here. And it has gold shimmer. And it's just gorgeous. I love it. I want to get more NARS blushes. Where is it? Right here. Very, very nice. And I like to put it over my... Jilty Marin um, Coconut Water Colored Cheek Jelly. It's a newer one that I had. Showed you in the haul. And it's like this. It smells like watercolors. It says watercolor. But it's like this really cool texture. It kind of feels like jello, but like harder. You know, it's not like jiggly or anything. <laughs> it's like really, really soft though. It's a heavy swatch of that. Let me show you on my hand. There it is. There. And I can show you. Blend it out and show you. It looks kind of scary. Like right here. It looks really, really dark. But it's actually not. It's like a really nice kind of pinky. Oh, the color is Pink Escape, I believe. Yes, Pink Escape. That's the color. So that's when you blend it out. It looks very nice. See? So it's just like a um, hint of color. It's not very, um, what do you want to say? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's too late for me to think about these big words. It's just not bold. That's not the word I'm looking for, but yeah, it's very nice though. Another one is this Coors Wood Butter. I've been loving this one. And it's in Wild Rose. I have it on right now. It looks very, very dark. It smells so nice like roses. It, rem it smells just like, um, it's not a very strong rose scent, but it's, uh, smells like this Oh, the brand. It was a giveaway I won from Jacqueline Beauty Sketch. Jack's Beauty Sketch from Hong Kong. And she gave me a little... Oh, it's Nux. Nux, Nux, that brand. It was a little face wash and it had a little, um, like, natural exfoliant in it. And it smelled like this. Exactly like that. It smells so good. I love that. So yeah, I love that one. And then, let's see, other lippies. Ooh, this one I got from Sarah Labello Peach Lip Balm. Oh, this smells so good, like the peach ring candy. And that's the color. Let's see if I have anywhere to swatch. I'm going to have to do it on this side. I can't really tell if I swatch it anyways because it's just very, very natural color. There it is there. I'm going to try to find it with my finger. <laughs> there it is. There. Really, really nice. And these are in, um, here in the U.S., these are the Nivea lip balms, but they don't have this flavor. If you've seen this flavor in the U.S., please let me know because all I can find is stupid cherry. That's the only one I have. I know they have like strawberry and something else, like the the um, tinted ones. I know they have other ones, but I cannot find them. It's the the problem. Okay, other lippies. Uh, where should I go? Oh, she also sent me Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfector. Oh my God, I was just like oogling over these swatches of these. And she offered to send me one. It smells like cotton candy. It smells so good. And this is in the shade, um, where is it? Um, Rosewood, I believe. Does it 
shade on here. No, it doesn't say the shade on here. That's weird. It's holding the box it up. I'm pretty sure it's rosewood. Yeah, it is rosewood. The viewer can have to watch this for you. There's a little um, spongy applicator, and I don't have anything else with this kind of applicator. It's very, very nice and very, very moisturizing and glossy, and just makes your lips look so juicy. It's gorgeous color, too. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's the swatch there. This bottom one here. Just a very natural shade. I like my lips look better. And I want to get more of these. It's so good. So in this lip liner, I've had sitting in my stash forever. It was like my least favorite. So I never touched it. And I don't know, for some reason I was in a hurry and I grabbed this one on accident, I think. And it's the Jordana Easy Liner in Rockin' Rose. And when I first got this and swatched it, even when I did my little lip liner collection, um, I did a blog post on my lip liner collection. I actually put on there, this is the gross, I think I put like, this is the grossest brown shade, don't even get it. But it's not. It looks kind of brown when you first swatch it. Like, see how dark it looks and brown? Let me I'm not trying to flip you off. Hold on. It looks kind of dark and brown in the swatch. But let me see if I can move it. I'm not going to do it here. It's not going to look on the swatch of my hand, but it does on my lips, okay? When you blend it out, it's so pretty. It's on my lips, it's the perfect rosy shade. Like, the perfect My Lips Look Better shade. It's gorgeous on my lips, and I love it. Certain days, I'll just fill in my whole lips with it and, like, just put a chapstick over it. I mean, a lip balm over it or a lip gloss over it, and it's so pretty. I've been loving that lately. And I've also been liking this Coors Liquid Lipstick Raspberry Lip Gloss. And what the hell is the shade? 13. That's the shade number 13. And it's Dope Applicator. And it smells so good. It's like vanilla. And it's like, for some reason, cold on your lips. Like when you put it, like, oh my gosh, that's so cold when you put it on your hand. It has something in there that is so cold. It feels really, really nice. And that's the swatch there. Really, really nice, like, rosy, pinky shade. And it's so moisturizing. And it lasts for a long time, too. It stains a little bit. I love that one. And a couple of MAC lippies. Um, recently got Viva Glam 5. I never had a Viva Glam. This is my first one. And this, I was looking for a dupe for another lipstick I love. The Victoria's Secret Sheer Drama. I talk about them all the time. Um, my favorite shade is Entice. It's the most gorgeous My Lips Look Better shade for me. It's like a brown kind of pinky shade with maybe a tad into red in it and it's I have nothing like it so I was trying to find a dupe for it because it's discontinued so I was looking at the MAC lippies and this is um, close to it another one that's close to it was Hug Me but for some reason I well the MAC lady said that this one looked closer I think Hug Me looks closer but the MAC lady said this one looked closer so I got it so maybe next time I'll get Hug Me but that's Maybe Lamp 5 on the bottom there. The Luster, my favorite. So gorgeous, rosy shade. My lips look better. And then, another one I've been loving for like night out or whatever. I don't want to get fancy or dressed up. Capricious. I think I wore this for Christmas. Um, it's like, um,. Well, I thought it was going to be a darker red, like burgundy, but it's actually kind of more berry. See? That's the swatch there on the bottom. It has a little bit of berry in it. It's really, really nice. Another luster. And then, what else? Oh, the lippies down. Okay, eyeshadows. 
Um, I picked up all the glitters. Finally, I've been wanting this one forever. It's just always been on my list. I never picked it up. For some reason, I thought it was going to be like all the other ones that I have, but it's not. Because it's a Deluxe Pearl. So it has a very, very nice sheen to it. And it's not like any of the champagne colors that I have. They're all different than this one. I don't know how, but they are. But I just freaking adore this one. Here it is. See? The shine I have to write. Yeah. See that shine? So pretty. Oh my gosh. And I just throw that on my lips and that's it. Sometimes I'll put this one. This is another favorite. Coors Golden Eyeshadow. Number 25. And it's just a golden shade for a highlight. But I love it. I don't have any other colors like this. A million highlights. Let me swatch them around hand. Dork. I'm a dork. Okay, let's swatch them on this hand. It's the most gorgeous golden highlighting shade. And actually, the other I've been using it just on my brow bone and inner corners. Sometimes, if I it really brightens your eye if you just put it all over the lid. But the other day, I was in a hurry. I couldn't find a highlighter, so I just grabbed this and popped it on my cheekbones. I'll do it. I already have some, but oh well. So I just popped it on my cheekbones, and it's really, really nice highlight actually on my face. Cheekbones, see that? I don't know if you can see it, but it's really nice. I've been loving that one. And uh, another interesting oldie but goodie. I have not used this palette in a while. Gila in the Light palette. I always go for, of course, Kitten. It's my favorite. You see that big dent there? Or I'll go for, um, let's see, this one. Was it Champagne? No, Bubbly. Bubbly. I'll go for that one. And I like to use Bear, this matte shade, all over. Or just as a um, brow bone. But for some reason, I can't remember who said their favorite. They just recently got this palette and said their favorite was Gilded Gold. I can't remember who it was. I think it was on Instagram they posted or something. Or on their blog. I cannot remember. But yeah, I for some reason grabbed it today and just threw it all over my lid. And it's super gorgeous. It's not even as dark as it looks right here. Like, it looks like really, really dark here and scary. But it has this really, really nice gold sheen. And it's gorgeous. Hold on, let me swatch it for you. And I think I'm going to be enjoying it a lot more than I was before. There it is. That's a heavy swatch, though. So I just dusted it lightly on my eyelids. That's all I put on my eyes today. It's just that on my eyelid. I didn't even put a highlight or anything today. It's really, really nice. Okay, that is done with my eyeshadows. Okay, a couple of mascaras. Mascaras. Mascaras real quick. The Essence Get Big Lashes is waterproof. It's for volume. When I want volume. Like on the weekends or whatever. The wand there. Really cheap one, but it's really good. I love Essence Mascaras. Holy crap, it's very pretty. I'm going to go right back on. And then this one for everyday is Buxom Lash by Bare Essentials. And this one is not waterproof, so I just wear it like for everyday. But I love the wand on it. I love the fake bristles. I don't like the, um, I don't like this one as much. Um, my favorite are these because they separate so, so good. Like, I hate the clumpy spider lash look, so I love the way this looks. Like, the very, very natural, like, butterfly, fluttery look. Natural separation and length. That's what I like. Um, what else? What else? Um, Catrice. Um,. I was so excited to get Catrice because I never tried it before. I got also in my swap from Sarah from Slovenia. And this is a limited edition 
Face Moisturizing Highlighter in Luminous is the shade. And let me see, I'm trying not to spill this here. So that's what the packaging looks like. I think I showed you already. Okay. Trying not to make a mess everywhere. Ooh. This is so gorgeous. Look at it. It's like a peachy shade. And it's so pretty. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me. It's really, really like glitter bomb if you put it all over your face. So you have to be careful. But it's really. Where the heck? Can I just watch it right here? Let's see if you can see that. No, you cannot see that. Okay. I have nowhere else to swatch. I have so much crap on my hands. Hold on. I'll put it right here. There it is. See how gorgeous that is? How the light reflects. And it's very, very finely milled, so it's so nice. It's not like chunks of glitter. It's like, just like, very, very shimmery, but it's so pretty on the cheekbones. It's gorgeous, and I love it. Thank you so much, Sarah. And last but not least, a um, couple nail polishes that I've been wearing like over and over and over for the past who knows how many months. Probably for the past six months. Except for this one. This one I got like for Valentine's Day. This is Essie Size Matters. And it's a really, really pretty... It's not very me. It's not very... It's kind of like the mix of the two. It's not red. It's like a berry... Ber it's like a burgundy shade with a hint of berry. It's very, very nice. I usually hate Essie polishes, but this one was on clearance for $2 at, what was it, at Walgreens. I found it on the clearance, so I got it. And it's super gorgeous. And I also been loving Zoya. I love Zoya, my favorite nail polish. And this is Nitty. Nitty. It's gorgeous bright red with the gold sparkles all kinds of colored sparkles actually gold and pink and oh, it's gorgeous I love it since I got it last summer I've been using it ever since and this one I love since I got it like a couple years ago this is the first Zoya I ever got and this is Kimber and this is perfect for the summertime it's a gorgeous pink with gold shimmer in it it's my favorite this nail polish ever. So that's all of my favorites, you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.